morning and welcome to our devotional week entitled Walking with God Through the Storm. Yesterday we looked at the importance of being grounded in God's promises when we go through difficult times. God's promises ground us as an anchor grounds a ship during a storm. Today's title is Building Up Courage and our reading is found in Deuteronomy chapter 31 verse 6. Be strong and of good courage. Do not fear nor be afraid of them. For the Lord your God, he is the one who goes with you. He will not leave you nor forsake you. Let us pray. Our Father, we thank you for the new day. We thank you for giving us this opportunity again to meditate on your word. Please, Lord, inter interpret your word and fill us with your Holy Spirit. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. After being convinced by her uncle Mordecai of her duty, Esther built up the courage to take on the challenge. We can be sure that Esther was afraid. I can only imagine the many thoughts going through her mind. Thoughts about her own safety, that of her uncle and the entire population of Jews. Fear is a natural and powerful human emotion. Fear alerts us to the presence of danger or the threat of harm, whether that danger is physical or psychological. Fear can often handicap us from moving forward or facing a challenge. It can be our greatest enemy and oftentimes, because of fear, we become our worst enemy and ambush our own success. Sometimes our fears manifest themselves in the form of anxiety, depression, sadness, but these feelings are always rooted in fear. Esther's experience is not far away from our own. Esther had her own version of fear that may at some point held her back, but she was able to build up the courage to move forward despite her fears. The Bible tells us that she built up courage, confronted her fears, and made it through the storm. She said to Mordecai, I'll go to the king even though if it is against the law, and if I perish, I perish. The solution is never to avoid our fears or run away from them. God is calling us to be courageous and to trust him in our storms. In 1 Chronicles chapter 28, verse 20, it says, Be strong and courageous and do the work. Do not be afraid or discouraged, for the Lord God, my God, is with you. He will not fail you or forsake you until all the work is finished. My dear friends, God is inviting us to walk with him through the storm. He is asking us to be strong and courageous despite our fears, to be brave despite our weaknesses, to not give up so easily, and most importantly, to rely on his strength and courage that has already been given to us. And like Esther, to push courageously with God. I like what David says in Psalm 23 verse 4, Even though I walk through the darkest valley, I will fear no evil, for you are with me. Your rod and your staff, they comfort me. Let us pray. Dear Heavenly Father, give us this courage as Esther had, and to never run away in front of our storms, but to have the courage to move forward and to face them with you. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. Thank you.